Hello and welcome back. This is Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host a custom coded website on Hostinger step by step. So for your information, I'm going to connect a domain name from Namecheap with my Hostinger hosting account. And after that, we're going to upload the website files into the Hostinger hosting package so that anyone from the world will be able to visit the website and access our website data. So let's start the process. First of all, I'm going to show you the website in a glance. So I'm going to open up the folder from here and let's visit the website, which is this one. As you can see, it's in my computer now. So it's, it's, it's just for the demo purpose. So if you click here on brand and magazines, you can see some of the works here. So I'm going to cross this out. And after that, inside this asset folder, we have got JavaScript files and then CSS files. Then I've got the images as well for the website. So now let's start the process. To start creating your website, click on websites from here. And after that, we're going to see this option, business web hosting. So I'm going to click on add website button right here. After that, it is going to show us a few options. As you can see, WordPress, if you want to create a WordPress website, hosting a website builder, if you want to try their AI builder. And then we have got MT, PHP or HTML website. So mine is an HTML website. So I'm going to click on MT on this option here. And after that, who is this website for? You can choose any one of these. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to select mine. And after that, let's click on next. And after that, it is going to ask us for the domain. So let me get the domain name, which I have got already here on Namecheap. So I'm going to use this domain. So I'm going to click on manage for this domain. And from here, I'm going to copy the domain name from here. Let's go back and paste the domain. And after that, hosting are going to check for the availability of the domain. If it is available or not here do you own this domain use it but if you want you can purchase a domain directly from hostinger as you can see here you can see the options so i'm going to go with this domain as i own it so i'm going to select this one and after that they're going to ask us to connect the domain name manually with hostinger so we're going to do that so i'm going to click on next and after that they are going to start building the website and just take a look in initializing and preparing the dashboard and here we go within a few seconds we have got the dashboard ready and as you can see domain isn't connected to your website so we have to connect the domain name now so i'm going to click on check guide and after that we're going to find the name servers here so i'm going to copy this name server from here let's go back to our domain control panel and let's scroll a bit down we're going to find this name servers option which is currently set to name cheap basic dns we have to make a change here so i'm going to click here and after that let's click on custom dns let's paste the domain uh, the name server here that i have copied from here and after that the name server 2 i'm going to copy this one let's go back and paste it right here and after that we just need to click here on the save icon so i'm going to click here and here we go dns server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect so it might gonna take a few minutes to up to few hours don't worry at all so let's go back here and after that i have changed the name server records Obviously, we did just so I'm going to click on finish. And if you manage your DNS records, your domain will be connected soon. OK, so let's see. It looks like the domain is already connected and now it is installing SSL. So it it connected instantly with the website. Now what you can do or what we have to do is we have to upload the files into the file manager. So we can either click here on file manager or we can scroll a bit down. We're going to find this files option here. We can click here on file manager and to update or upload database you can click here on the database option as well to go to my uh, php my admin and stuff so i'm going to click here on files and then i'm going to click on file manager and after that i'm going to click here on access files of growprehend.com this is the domain that we have added so i'm going to click here so it is going to take us to that specific file manager option as you can see here my files and after that inside public html you're gonna upload the project files so i'm going to click here on upload and after that let's select file and then i have got this zip file that i've just um, zipped before starting the video so which is containing all the website files so i'm gonna click on open by selecting and within few seconds we should see that the file has been uploaded now we have to click here and then right click and then we're going to extract the files here on this place so i'm going to click on extract and after that i have to give a name so i'm going to type out ppw um, 
a professional portfolio website anyways so i'm going to click on extract and here you go now we don't need this folder this zip file anymore so i'm going to click on delete and delete here you go now we have to do a few more stuff we have to get this data outside of this folder we have to take them to the public html so click on the first file and then click on the last one then click on the right button and then click on move file and after that double click double click again you're going to see this public html folder so we're going to upload all the website files into the public html folder so i'm going to click on public html to select this folder and then click on move and now if i want i can simply delete this one from here as well and we have got all the website files right here now if i take you back on our file manager or the hosting or control panel if i take you to the dashboard or the overview page and if i try to visit this domain from here here you go the website is live and anyone from the world will be able to access this website by using our domain name so we have just uploaded a custom coded website on Hostinger file manager from the cPanel. We have connected the domain name and we have hosted a website successfully. So this is the way how we can host a custom coded website on Hostinger. And now our website is live for anyone of the world to visit. So thank you so much for watching. If you face any issues, please feel free to let me know by commenting below if you need any help. You can let me know that by commenting below as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about WordPress and stuff, please feel free to check out my other videos on this channel. And obviously, I'm going to upload more videos in near future about WordPress and then website development in regard. So thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.